Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network. This is the third installment in the CCNA series. Here we're doing Lab Review 6236, Configuring Multi-Area OSPF. So I already have my lab document open. And so we're going to scroll down. I have this saver on a different screen. Pay close attention to the areas that we're dealing with, areas 0, 1, and 2. So I'm going to do all of this via notepad. So, part one, step one, we're going to go and do router OSPF one. We actually want to change the router ID to 1.1.1.1. And next, it wants us to do those three network statements. Pay attention to the areas. This is where most people mess up, areas zero and one as dictated by this chart up here. Alright, I want to make sure to do enable config t and let's go ahead and paste this into router 1. Oh! Router ID not something else. Alright, so we should have the three network statements, the router ID, all that fun stuff. So router one should be done. Moving on to step three, let's do uh, the configuration for R2 and R3 using the appropriate network IDs. Alright, so for R2 we're going to be doing the We're not going to be doing that network. R2, we're using that guy and those two guys. So we need to make sure that we have 10.4, 10.0, and 10.210. 10 Next, we need to make sure that we're doing the correct areas. All of those happen to be in area 0. Again, these guys right here. We're off that chart. Let's go ahead and paste it into R2. Alright. So now let's go ahead and let's do R3, or router 3. Router 3 is going to be using, again, the 10.4 network, so we're going to keep that guy. He's also going to be doing the network for 192.168.1.0 with a wildcard of 00255. Here is going to be area 2. Here we're also going to be doing the 192.168.2 network. So we did 1, we did 2, and we have the 10.4 still. That's all we need for router 3. Get to our CLI. Just paste it in there. And we are done. So from R1, let's try to ping certain things. Let's try to ping 192.168.1.2. It works. Let's try to ping 192.168.2.2. It works. Let's try to ping 10.2.1.2. And it also works. So, as long as everything connects back to area 0, we can have multi area. Everything connects back to 0. issue the following show commands so that we can find out which uh, we can answer these questions show 
IP protocols. Here we're going to see, again, all the routing information. We're going to see the appropriate distances and uptimes and the networks that it has. So IP, we are doing protocols, and then this is going to be the network that it's broadcasting, and these are going to be the right information that it knows about, and we'll do the same thing for R3. Show IP protocols, and those are its networks. So which router are internal routes? Our internal routers? Well, we're not quite there yet. That, let's go and look at the OSPF database. OSPF show IP OSPF database. Here we're going to see the appropriate link states, the age, the checksum, the counts, process IDs. Okay, so I'm going to do R2. I'm going to do the same one, show IP or SPF database. And again, you're going to see the appropriate information for that guy. The advanced router, the new link state router, the summary, link state route areas. We're also going to go and do show IP OSPF interface. We're seeing that it's up, we're seeing it's an area, the state of the backup designated router, we're seeing the hello timers, we're seeing the adjacent neighbors, the designated routers, we're seeing the different types of devices. So which is an internal router? That's going to be basically which is one in our uh, area 0. So that's going to be R2. Which one of our backbone routers? <laughs> that's going to be all routers. R1, R2, R3 because they're all backhauls. Which routers are Area border router. We did that through the uh, IP OSPF interface. That's R1 and R3. R2 is the internal. Question four: Which router are Arduino system number routers? None of them, because they all have again an active interface on all three routers are connected to an OSPF area, so there's nothing leaving the area. Which router is generating type 1 LSAs? All routers are, because all routers, all OSPF routers generate type 1 LSAs. Which router are generating type 2? Basically, these are going to be hidden routes in each of the areas that the uh, designated router is. The router ID is going to be 4444-5555-6666 and 9999. We can verify by looking at the show OSPF database, and that gives you all of the uh, router IDs. You can also then do a show IP route and compare the two. You can see which router they're actually advertising the correct routes. Going on, which router is generating type 3 LSAs? Type 3 LSAs are going to be R1 and R3 because each of this each of these routers is a ABR and it is a flood each of their areas from one area to the other areas. Which routers are generating type 4 and type 5 LSAs? None because none of them are a AS designated router or backup route. How many in Inter-area routers does each router have? R1 and R3 both have two inner area connections, and R2 has 
support inner area connections. Lastly, why would there usually be an ASBR in this type of network? An ASBR is used to connect external routing domains, which we do not have. If there are any questions about this lab, please let me know. Thank you.